Hey guys, welcome to Chat with KSC. I'm your girl K, and today we are going to be discussing Kanye. Um, yay, for lack of a better, well, it's not a better term. He just wants to be called yay, so let's call him yay, what he wants to be called. Anyway, um, we're going to be discussing yay and his apology that he made to the Jewish community for his anti-Semitic comments. Now, the reason why I wanted to discuss this topic is because there was so much backlash and everything that he said went so viral at the time when he said it, like, oh my God, he made anti-Semitic comments and he said he would, and there isn't going to be any repercussions, but then there are. And Everyone kind of wanted to make a prime example about um, in regards to him. And I have no issues as it relates to that, because if your comments are offensive to a a subset of people or to a group of people, then you should be held accountable for it. However, I am someone who believes that if we're going to go as hard for the rhetoric that he spews and we're going to go so hard for the negative commentary that he spews, then let's take a moment to acknowledge the apology, right? Which is something that he actually issued. And I don't think Kanye really issues apologies without actually meaning it, right? And it did take some months for the apology to come. And I feel like it, I don't think this is his first time apologizing, if I remember correctly, but he did issue an apology, right? And I think we do need to shine some light on the apology and really appreciate it for what it is. Not because, oh my God, we must accept the apology, but let's at least acknowledge that someone did make a mistake and they have apologized, right? I kind of want to show you guys the apology and that it was written in this um, language style. And I want to say it was written in Jewish, but again, I don't know if they have a particular language style that they call it. And I don't want to like say the wrong thing. So just let me say that. Of course, I'm going to read the English version of it. But again, my aim here, my focus here isn't to be mean or anything like that. So let me put that disclaimer out there. It's just to acknowledge that black man did say some comments and stuff like that, that he, he was ridiculed for, and he is now issuing a genuine apology. So I just want to acknowledge his apology. So according to the shade room, the Kanye West, Kanye West issues apology to the Jewish community in a new post. Your forgiveness is important to me and I am committed to making amends. All right. So the apology goes, I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for any unintended outbursts caused by my words or actions. It wasn't my intention to offend or demean respected and I deeply or demean respected, I guess because it's a translation, I'm going to try to understand it as much as I can, respected, and I deeply regret any pain I may have caused. I am committed to start, I'm committed to starting with my with myself and learning from this experience to ensure greater sensitivity and understanding in the future. Your forgiveness is important to me and I am committed to making amends and promoting unity. And I think sometimes that's all we can ask for, right? Sometimes we we all we can ask for is for a person to be genuinely sorry. And I know a lot of people are going to make the comment that, oh my God, it's just a business move. It's just a business move. It's just a business move. But you're not Kanye, so you don't know, right? And Kanye has a lot of money. So it doesn't have to be a business move. This could just be someone who's genuinely faced so much repercussions for his comments in front of his fans and behind the scenes where he said, probably said, Hey, 
let me understand what I really said and probably did do the research to understand what he really did say. And was like, maybe, yo, what I said was really messed up and I shouldn't have. So you know what? Please accept my deepest apologies so that we can promote unity in the future. And I feel like sometimes, like I mentioned before, that's all we can ask for. Someone learning from their mistake, right? Um, he's already received the public scrutiny, right? So here he is apologizing. And I want to say um, congrats to him for being man enough to um, double, not double down, but double back on what you said, right? You said something, you realized that it wasn't the correct thing. So you double back and you made it correct, right? So shout out to Kanye on that. And I want to hear what you guys on um, YouTube think. Do you think that it's just... Uh, just uh an apology so that he can i am trying to get i'm trying i was trying to catch a word but the word didn't come do you think it's just an apology so that he can get back brand deals and brand dealings or do you think that he's being genuine and the thing too that you have to also understand with brand deals and brand companies no one is going to want to touch kanye um yay right now with the anti-Semitic, no one is going to really want to touch him. And if they do, it's going to be under tight, tight wraps. Like no one is going to really be able to know about it. You know what I mean? Even after an apology, which is why I, I'm leaning away from it being that. But everybody have their opinion as to why things are the way it is. And I just look forward to learning other people's opinions about why they think something is the way that it is but anyway share your thoughts and comments down below if you're listening to this on youtube and if you're listening to this on apple Podcasts or spotify hey guys what's up i'll chat with you next time bye